Hello there, I'm Joshua the File Heaven, and today I'm going to do a short unboxing and video review of the iBase uh, DX uh, 220 DAC for digital audio player. This is a flagship, this is a proper flagship this time. I mean, I, I'm just going to do it step by step. So you take this out and you are left with this package, which opens up like this. Man, this is beautiful. I, I'm in love with the way I buy so presents their products. After which you take the player out. This is the player. Uh, I'm going to present the accessories as well. This is beautiful. I'm in love with the way they present everything. Anyways, you have two little boxes inside this larger box. Uh, there is one with the cables. Burning and the uh, coaxial cable, also USB cable. All of the best quality this world has to offer. Uh, let me just put it back on. So, besides those cables, the, T the DX220 also comes with, with a leather case. Uh, no, this is the manual or manuals. It can also decode MQA, by the way. Those are uh, more glass screen protectors. And this is a leather case. I'm going to open it right now so that I can show it to you. This is like uh, a brownish color. I will most probably be using the X220 without a case because it feels so ergonomic and so lovely to detach without a case. Anyways, I'm going to put everything back on because uh, at the moment of making this video, I'm still yet to make the photo shoot of DX220 because I still need to do that. Anyways, uh, I'm not quite sure if I presented this. This is why I was putting everything back so I can present this as well. This is how the package looks like. But anyways, after putting everything back together, I will also present this. This is the AMP7 amplifier module from iBaso. It comes with a little screwdriver. Instructions. Please take care to turn off DX2 200 or 220 before replacing any MPU modules. This is the warranty card and such. Anyways, I have the reference uh, AMP1 or the original one that comes with it in the package of MP7. This is the reference AMPU module. And I have the AMPU 7 installed on the X220. And the reason behind this is that I am in love with the sound of this pairing. So, the X220 and AMP 7. This is probably the best sounding portable I have heard to date. And I don't know, I have some experience. I mean, I have heard a few portables to date, but this beats absolutely everything, including the mighty QLS. But of course, this setup is 1,100 US dollars, so it is not cheap and not... Uh, it is considerably or sensibly more expensive than most portables, but this sounds out of this world. This is incredible. This is so good, you will not believe your ears. This. This doesn't have the typical DAP sound. This has a full-blown uh, desktop setup sound. I mean, this sounds really close to the MyTech Brooklyn Duck Plus that I have in the back. This doesn't sound like a portable at all. This has the power, the control, the dynamics, the details, everything that a desktop setup should have. This is outstanding. So I base so with the EM with the little uh, AMP7 module this is the sound of the future this is a really really good sound i i just don't have the words to put it in a video i need to write about this and i will write about it this is how good it sounds i mean i'm not even uh, i'm usually not even this much excited about a player or about anything but this uh, yesterday i was 
I don't know, I was minding my own business, uh, this package came and uh, I told to myself I should listen to it. So I started listening to it using the Haifiman Sundara and I couldn't stop listening. I, I had to listen more. I, I kept listening to it for two hours in a row. I, it was a night when I only had three hours of sleep, so please keep in mind, there was night in the best state. I, I needed sleep more than I needed to listen to music, but I couldn't stop. This is how good the Abaso 2X220 two hun- two compared with its EMP7. So the 7, the both high current and high uh, voltage module sounds like. This really sounds amazing. So impressive. I mean, yeah, so impressive. I could just lay on, on, on my back, on my bed and just listen to it. I I don't know. It is not every day that this happens to me to find something so interesting. And this is a portable. This is a portable. I haven't tested the battery life. I haven't tested all the features and I, I haven't even scratched the surface with the iBase. So I charge it though. Uh, I am starting it right now to show a bit of its menus to you. But I won't be making a full article about that. Uh, it is quick. It is not. Um, it is pretty much as quick as any smartphone, any decent smartphone right now. I think. I oh, just let me. Uh, come on. Okay. I hope. Just look at how beautiful this is. Um, let me try to show you the mine. This is the mine menu. Just look at this edge-to-edge display. I mean, man, this is beautiful. This is just outstanding. I mean. Let me try to see if I can, oh, so if you keep the power button pressed while it is in the mango mode, this was the mango mode, uh, it turns up directly, I wanted to turn, I wanted to turn it on to Android mode to show you a few more of its applications. I haven't loaded Tidal yet, I, I just li- was listening to my own collection of music ripped from CDs and such. I'm trying to see how to turn it on on the Android mode. So the sound of this is just so dynamic, so detailed, so expressive, so emotional, so powerful. Even the bass is out. It's just impressive. I don't know. I'm not always this impressed. You probably know me. I'm not always this impressed. But uh, yeah. Oh, so to, to get it to Android, you go... Uh, I should probably show you this, this little secret. So you go to settings here, you go to the bottom and you go to advanced settings and in the advanced settings you have to um, at the bottom, at the absolute bottom, you have to Android system and you click yes to Android and then it restarts to Android. So yeah, I I am absolutely amazed. I am so sorry that I didn't do the review for AMP7 before. Um, yes, this is probably... Uh, I, I haven't really used the AMP7 so far. I was relying on the AMP5. So this might be why I am this impressed. I, I'm, I, I wasn't uh, quite as uh, impressed by the original EMP1 Mark II. That one is very reference. That one isn't quite as interesting as this one. So this is the Android mode. As you can see, it is pretty typical of an Android player. I will be doing more uh, photos, more such. I will be doing a full article on how it works as an Android device. Just look at how beautiful this is. This also has probably the most vibrant display I have seen on a portable. So yeah. It wins a lot in many ways. I will be making a full in-depth written review. I thank you for watching and I hope you'll be watching out for that and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.